punch Peter in the face. And I've been there, <laughs> what's the reason why? I've been punched in the face twice by Jesse, who's bigger than Adam and stronger than Adam, but has more control than Adam. And I'm feeling like it's a good <laughs> night, and so... Because um, <laughs> Adam's new so, single got released. Adam's new single got released, and I'm just I'm in a good mood, and I'm like, you know what? I can take a punch right now, so... Oh, man. Oh. Are you going to actually do it or not? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Here. Oh, oh I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do it! You... Oh. oh, that was better. Yeah, good well, job. No, friend. no, <laughs> not again. So, yesterday uh, I went for a dodgeball tournament, which was some fun. Anyway, it was alright, it was good. Uh, I don't normally get to, like, follow instincts and reflexes like that. Uh, that's why I always love dodgeball. But, um, problem with dodgeball is that I'm good at what the name entails, dodging balls, but I'm not good at throwing them back. In Katie's words, I throw like her. So, I was reading in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and uh, something stuck out to me. 2 Corinthians 5, 16. So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So, um... I know about all you guys, but uh, I will have uh, friends who are like, you know, borderline. They say they're a Christian, but they're really definitely hypocrites about it. And the uh, um, thing about this verse is that uh, he said, what caught my eye was that he said, uh, though we once regarded Christ in this way, from a worldly point of view, we do so no longer. People as either they... I mean, if they weren't committed before, then they're not going to be committed now. That they, if we don't see a consistency, if we don't see a past of, you know, faithfulness, then they aren't legit. That they're, they're just not real Christians. But he makes a point to say, um, we once we got a Christ in this way. Because, I mean, remember whenever he came back to, uh, to, what was it, Gal Nazareth, whatever, he, uh, um, he couldn't do, do much there because people were like, well, uh, we know you, we know your history, and you uh, you weren't doing all these crazy stuff before. You weren't doing all these miracles before. So uh, it hindered him because since then he had been baptized in the Spirit. He had done all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, and so um, I just thought, you know, like, he says, we've got a Christ in that way. Well... If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Uh, people can change overnight. I mean, just uh, just like Jesus, uh, I don't know what his life was exactly before you know he started his ministry, but uh, I'm sure, I mean, he apparently didn't stand out nearly as much as he did after he started ministry. So uh, um, he 
uh, you know, he, he got baptized in this new creation that he was, uh, and just like he did, anyone who, you know, some night, for some reason, God uh, brings them to the breaking point, and they're like, fine, God, I give it all to you. So, um, the old leaves, the new comes in. All of a sudden, this person, who had not been consistent before, they get baptized in the Spirit, they, they, uh, they get baptized in the salvation, even, and all of a sudden, this person, uh, um, who you perceive to be a hypocrite, because you have seen his past, well, his present is a new creation. That past is gone. And so, uh, it's more like an encouragement. Say, the, don't, don't, uh, hold people's past against them, because a lot of times, uh, God can really change a person in a second, in a night, you know? Like, you go to sleep the next day, someone could be a completely brand new person on fire for God, uh, and, um, God, God can bring about that change, uh, just like Christ went through a change. So, that's what I got from Jesus.